Welcome to the Unity Bootcamp lesson on Cloud Code Scripting Basics. In this lesson, we're going to go over what a Cloud Code Script is and why you'd want to use one. Essentially, a Cloud Code Script is a JavaScript routine that resides and runs on the BrainCloud servers. Cloud Code Scripts are written on the BrainCloud portal using the web-based script editor. Some advantages of Cloud Code Scripts include better performance when calling multiple APIs in a row, lower BrainCloud costs, Cloud Code Scripts are more secure than if they were run client-side, the ability to change logic server-side without a client update, and the ability to perform certain operations that are not enabled in the client API. To execute a Cloud Code Script on the client, we use the run script request. To execute this request, we must supply the script name and the JSON data as parameters. The data that the Cloud Code Script returns can be customized, but the example JSON return shows the data that the Cloud Code Script would return if we didn't customize it at all. In today's example, we are going to post the user's score to multiple leaderboards. The first thing that we need to do is to create a second leaderboard for the example game. Navigate to the BrainCloud portal. Click Design, then Leaderboards, followed by Leaderboard Configs. On the right, click the new Leaderboard Config button. Name this leaderboard Daily, then set the rotation type to Daily. We're going to set the rotation to occur a minute before midnight. Click the Save and Close button. On the left, click Cloud Code, then Scripts. Click the plus button to create a new script. Name this script Post to Leaderboards. Ensure the Client Callable is enabled so that we can invoke this script from the client's run script request. Click Create. In the Details pane on the left, click the pencil to edit the parameters. Remove the default parameters. Enter the following parameters, an array of leaderboard IDs, the score, and the extra data object with the nickname. Click Save. To begin editing the script, click Edit. Delete the default script. Use the bridge to get the leaderboard service proxy. The bridge provides a mechanism to access all of BrainCloud services within a Cloud Code script. Set up the response object. From the data object, get the leaderboards array, the score, and the extras object. Loop through the elements of the leaderboards array, and using the leaderboard service proxy, post the score to each leaderboard. If the response was successful, increment the response's posted value. Otherwise, if the response had an error, increment the response's error value and then add the result to the response's error list. Return the response object, then click Save. We're done in the BrainCloud portal. Open Unity. We need to enable the segmented controls in the Leaderboards dialog. In the hierarchy, expand the dialog canvas. Find the Leaderboards dialog and enable it. Expand the Leaderboards dialog and select the left and right segment control buttons. Enable the segment controls, and then select the leaderboard dialog and disable it. Save the scene, and then run the game. Click BrainCloud, then click Leaderboards. Notice the segment control isn't hooked up yet in the code. Stop the game, and then open Visual Studio and navigate to the constant script. Declare a constant for the daily leaderboard ID. Save the file and navigate to the network script. Scroll down and below the post score leaderboard method. Declare a public method called post score leaderboards. In the body of the method, we're going to check to see if the user is authenticated. If the user is not authenticated, we'll log in a meaningful error message, and if set, we'll invoke the failed callback delegate. If the user is authenticated, declare success callback lambda. In the body of the lambda, log the response data. And if set, invoke the completed callback delegate. Next, declare the failed callback lambda. In the body of the lambda, log an error along with the status message. And if set, invoke the failed callback delegate. Format the user's time in seconds to a long in milliseconds. Then format the JSON data, including the leaderboards we want to post to, the user score in milliseconds, and the nickname. Invoke the BrainCloud script services run script request, passing in the name of the script, the JSON data, and the success and failure callback lambdas as the arguments. Above this method, declare a public overloaded method. This method doesn't take in the nickname, and instead will use the already set username. Save the file and navigate to the game script. Scroll down to the update method. Find the network's post scored leaderboard request and change it to the post scored leaderboards request instead. Scroll down and find the onAuthentication request completed method. Invoke the network's request leaderboard method, passing in the daily leaderboard ID and the on leaderboard request completed method as the arguments. Scroll down and find the on post score request completed method. 
Invoke the Networks Request Leaderboard method, passing in the daily leaderboard ID and the onLeaderboard Request Completed method as the arguments. Save the file and navigate to the Post Score dialog script. In the On Submit button click method, find the Networks Post Score Leaderboard Request and change it to the Post Score Leaderboards Request instead. Save the file and navigate to the Leaderboards dialog script. In the On Main Scores clicked method, remove the to do statement and in its place invoke the Set Leaderboard Data method, passing in the main leaderboard ID constant as the argument. In the On Daily Scores clicked method, Remove the to-do statement and in its place invoke the set leaderboard data method, passing in the daily leaderboard ID constant as the argument. Save the file and open Unity. If you need to perform a manual refresh, do so now. Run the game. Click BrainCloud, then click Leaderboards. Notice that the segmented controls now work, only we don't have any daily scores yet. Close the dialog and let's play the game. To save time, video playback has been sped up. The game is over, and we most likely need to set a username before submitting our score. Remember, this profile was re-authenticated using the Twitch identity set up in the previous lesson. We can see that our score was posted to the main leaderboard. And clicking the daily leaderboard, we can see that our score was posted there too. Custom Entities and Post Hook Cloud Code Scripting is the next lesson in the Unity Bootcamp. 